Hello everyone, JRDO96 here with a brand new unboxing. As you can tell by the title, it's something completely different and a little unexpected. But uh, yeah, it's a video game related unboxing. And as you can tell by the title, it's a calendar. Now back in June, I usually, I used to have, if you don't know, I used to have the Tasteful Nudes calendar from Markiplier. I've had it for that long period of time until it finally ran out. Until it was, it became an empty space on my wall and there was no need for it anymore. Now I just gotta find a way to, you know, hang it up somehow because it has his autograph on it for Christ's sake. So I'm trying to figure that out. So while I'm doing all that, I, I wanted to also find a replacement calendar. And I potentially found one, which was this one. And I decided to wait until like around the time when the new year begins to get it. And as you can tell by the title, it's a Metroid themed calendar. Now, if you, <laughs> I am a huge Metroid fan, especially of the Prime series. As you could tell, the Metroid Prime series. So, I'm a huge fan of the Metroid series. So, I, this is really right up my alley, and I couldn't help but buy this damn calendar. Oh my god. Wow. Alright. Let me grab, put that up to the side. So, here we are the Metroid calendar. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. And as you can see on the front, it has the art cup the artwork for Metroid 2 Return of Samus, not the remake, but more of like more or less the original version. Now I just gotta try to find a way to get this open. Get this plastic stuff off. There we go, I got it. I got it somehow by magic. All right. All right. I don't want to ruin it potentially, but I think there's like cardboard in there to keep it flat and stuff. So there goes that. So here, as we can see, yep. Metroid 2 on the front cover, so let's see what how this calendar begins. Okay, like the first few months of 2019 is there with the bottle ship from Metroid Elder M, which is pretty which is considered the worst game in, of the whole series, especially of how they treated Samus, having her, having her act like a little whiny little bitch. And having her have have a PTSD moment against Ridley after she's fought Ridley maybe eight times prior to this. So yeah, dumb stupidity if you ever think about it. And now we have January, which is the artwork for the first Metroid game, which was released back in the late 80s, in the mid 80s, 1986 in Japan and 1987 in America. So that's her in her classic power suit mode. And then obviously February is Metroid 2 Return of Samus, which is which is with the same artwork as on the cover. Which is really nice. I wonder And then March is the big one of the best games in the whole series. People consider this the best game of all time, one of the greatest games of all time, Super Metroid, and I can't agree, I couldn't agree more. It is probably one of the best games of all time. One of the best Super Nintendo games and one of the best Metroid games. Really nice. Like hell, I have a t-shirt of Super Metroid. Yeah. <laughs> April, which is artwork used for Metroid Fusion. Which, by the way, I recently bought. I bought Metroid Fusion recently, and I started trying playing it a little bit. So far, it's really good. I've been he hearing a lot of great things about this game. So pretty much now, Samus' appearance have, has changed very drastically because of her inf her being infected by the X-Parasite. And 
having the vaccine made from the DNA of the baby Metroid that saved her in Super Metroid has made her half human, half Metroid, in a sense. Kind of getting a little vibes of Alien. <laughs> Hell yes! And May, the month of May, which is my birth month, is Metroid Prime, which is my favorite Metroid game. Oh my god, Metroid Prime is so goddamn good. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend you go play that damn game. It's really good. Metroid Prime, so good. So goddamn good. And then Metroid Zero Mission, which is for June, which is the remake of Metroid 1. That's what Metroid Zero Mission was. It was a remake of the very first game with modernist made ma modern aesthetics and modern uh like gameplay mechanics added to the original game like certain elements from like super metroid and metroid fusion were added to metroid 1 in a sense the boss some new bosses some new areas stuff like that and then July is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, which is pretty much Link to the Past. Metroid, a uh, Link to the Past, if you, because Samus has to travel from one side, a light side, and then a dark side. Like a darker world and a lighter world on this planet known as Aether, which has pretty much been split into two worlds, light and dark. So you got to constantly travel from one place to another and save the planet. And Luminoth. A lot of people hate this game. I think this is really. I think this game is really good as well. Like a, a worthy sequel to Metroid Prime One. Ooh, now this one I actually have not played. <laughs> I played the demo on when the Nintendo DS first came out, which was Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt. But this is Metroid Prime Hunters, which came out in 2006, and a lot of people like the game as well because of mostly the online multiplayer. And if I'm not mistaken, that guy right here, that's Silex, I believe. He's purple, just like how in Metroid Pro in the, just like, you know, apparently Silex is supposed to be in Metroid Prime 4. Based on the ending of this game, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, which is for September. This was the last Metroid Prime game made in the series, based on the Nintendo Wii, and what was added was what I hated the most, the motion controls. The motion controls are fine, but there are certain points where I just swear to God, I wish I could turn faster. With the GameCube, you could just use the analog stick and move, fat, move, turn your, turn Samus around. With the Wii remote, you have to like, aim the Wii remote like this, in certain to, to turn her around, it's stupid. And then when they added Met when they released Metroid Prime Trilogy, it just made it worse. Oh, it just made it goddamn worse. And here is what people consider the worst of the game, worst game in the series, Metroid Other M, because of the the weird el weird story elements that they added, having Samus act like a acting like. Not like how she usually would act. Having her have a PTSD moment against Ridley. For like after have fighting, fighting Ridley maybe eight, nine times prior to that. Prior to that moment. And just the horrible voice acting. The gameplay, some of the gameplay aspects of it is really good. I thought Team Ninja did a good job with it. But the story just was bad. The game is decent. But the story was just kind of uh, not really good. They could have done a lot better with that. So much potential was there, but they just fucking squandered it. Sakamoto squandered it. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. When I first saw that this was announced, I was one of those people, too, that was so mad that they were doing a spin-off game. But then when I find when the game was released and then when they saw a post credit scene that showed somebody going through the Galactic Federation station and hatching an, a Metroid, you knew that there was something there. 
because this takes place after Metroid Prime 3. And at the post credit scene, it pretty much teases Metroid Prime 4. So this has been going... This is... They teased Metroid Prime 4! But no one wanted to play it because it's a spin-off game and they want a main Metroid game. And now you got it. And now it's delayed for maybe another couple of years. And then the remake. For, for the final month of December, which was the remake, the recent one... Metroid Samus Returns, which is a remake of Metroid 2, Return of Samus. Now, somebody, a fan, made a fan game, a fan remake of Metroid 2, a year prior to that. And it was in development for years, maybe 10 years. It was known as AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake, because someone else tried to make another, tried to make a Metroid 2 remake, and they just didn't finish it. So this, that's why it was called AM2R. And they finally released and completed AM2R, this person, and released it. And Nintendo took, filed a DMCA takedown on... They sent takedown notices on all sites hosting the AM2R remake. Which kind of puzzled and angered a lot of fans because Nintendo really clearly didn't, wasn't doing anything at the time. Well, at that point, we had no clue that this was being made. Now we know why they said, take it down. Because we're making our own, guys. We've been making it for years. And we've been just secretly hiding in the background, waiting for the right time to announce it. And I guess that's it. But overall, and finally, we got Metroid Prime 4 coming out at some point. God knows when. I think it was supposed to be coming out maybe in 2019 or at some point this year, but due to the development, re the restart, the reboot in a sense, developmental restart that they decided to do last year, it's going to be go probably be coming out in maybe a year or two. I don't know. Maybe five years. I hope it's not that long because we've waited so long for a very good met another... Metroid Prime game, and I've been waiting for another Metroid Prime game because I love the Metroid Prime series, and I just don't want to have this game be canceled, and I do not want this to be another Metroid Dread. But anyways, uh, enough rambling about this. Um, let's put this up. Let's finally put this calendar up. I got the thumbtack still. Because I knew that, that, that day, this day would come. The bottle ship. And it has September to December 2019. Here we go. January. With one of the worst low quality. It looks like a very low quality JPEG image of a, of a Samus Aaron. But obviously the 80s was different back then. All right, voila, <laughs> we got our new calendar. Finally, it's up. Hopefully, it stays up. It doesn't fall, because one time my tasteful my marker bar calendar fell one time. So hope think hopefully this one could stay up until I have to put it put a change it to the new month and stuff. So stuff like that. Bank holiday. That was on January 2nd. That was the day prior to me recording this. What the heck? Okay, that may, I don't get that, but I don't want to know. But overall, that's really it on this unboxing for the calendar. Uh, as you could tell, I'm a really huge Metroid fan, so that's why I was kind of geeking out and kind of giving you insight on certain things you probably didn't know. Stuff like that. But I just felt like sharing it because I am a huge fan of the Metroid series. And I'm really excited to see where Metroid goes from here. Especially after the announcement of Metroid Prime 4 back in 2017. And the recent Metroid 2 remake. Um, 
but that Federation Force post credit scene, people kind of like wanted to not talk like they did. <laughs> they were so mad, and <laughs> you know how people like to call YouTube Rewind the most disliked trailer on YouTube. I think Metroid Prime Federation Forces trailer, I think, was the most disliked video on YouTube at 1.2. One of the most disliked vi trailers on YouTube. They, I, I was kind of one of them, too. I was like, oh, come on. I was like, come on, why? But then I kind of was like, okay, maybe there's a reason behind it. And then we kind of, now I kind of see why. Because I think they wanted to... Act give a little backstory to the Galactic Federation. I never I never played Gal uh, Federation Force. <laughs> it sounds like some kind of toy um, toy collection from Hasbro. Metroid Prime Federation Force! <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like to me. But Federation Force had that post credit scene where you saw what appeared to be Silex Hatching a baby Metroid that was in a facility on the Galactic Federation station. So, this could cause huge problems for our hero, Samus, in the future. This could fix a lot, this could cause a lot of problems for our hero, for our heroine, Samus Aran. But hopefully this game comes out pretty soon. I hope that Prime 4 comes out pretty soon. They should have just had Retro Studios from the beginning, instead of just waiting a year and a half to finally go, yeah, this game doesn't look good, let's get Retro Studios back. And then we hear rumors that the game might be outsourced already, and there's a potential rumor of a potential Super Metroid remake, which I'm against. Super Metroid should never be remade. It's perfect for what it is. I'm pretty sure there's some people that might agree with me. But seriously, Metroid, Super Metroid should be left alone. Because all those great sequence breaking in Super Metroid are not going to be in, in, the re in this potential remake if this happens to be true. They're going to patch it out like everything else because in today's game and day and age, they're going to make everything patched out and stuff. It's just going to be stupid. But anyways, I think I rambled on long enough. But overall, that's, on fish, that's officially on this unboxing of the Metroid calendar. Really good. I think this is probably going to really be cool for the next year or so <laughs> for the next for this for this year it's gonna be cool for the rest of this year just seeing this and when it finally comes to metroid prime it's gonna be more exciting for me hell i've been playing it playing it now a lot lately because of just get one order in the calendar and then i decided to go back to the same video game trading pub store that i got the original game boy at and i decided to buy metroid fusion and hell, I even decided to buy, if you remember these, the, uh, the link cable that was, that you had to use to, with the Game Boy Advance and put it into, plug it in with the, into one of the controller, the control ports on the GameCube. And if you link the, you know, it said there was like some bonuses in Metroid Prime 1, like if you beat, complete Metroid Prime and then link Metroid Fusion to your to the GameCube or whatever using the Game Boy Advance link cable you would be able to use the Fusion suit in Metroid Prime as in like an alternate cost an alternate suit that you could wear while playing the game and makes it a better a, a weirder experience and I think they did a good job with that I never a, was able to even do it back then and now I finally did it so I was like well why not like, I, I saw it on the wall, I was like, hey, is that the thing, the GBA link cable? So I was like, yeah, I might as well get that one too, because I know that there's a bonus in Metroid Prime and stuff like that to get the Fusion Suit and also play the original Metroid. I might get Metroid Super Mission at some point, but let me, let me just play Metroid Fusion first. <laughs> so anyways, that's officially it. I rambled on long enough, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. 
share this video with your friends. I apologize for rambling on, on and on. I can't help myself. I'm, I'm just such a passionate fan. So if you like what you saw here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jack Seth guy, even myself. I also stream enactments to cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!